Hello and welcome to the Valley Urban Farm. This is episode 12 and you join us as we are busy collecting our produce to deliver up to the farmer's market all loading up nice and easily into our auto trailer I say it is pretty efficient this little trailer should be one more still I think yeah I can see it down the side there yeah so quite quite a bit that'll be happening today got to try and get some money in want to buy a factory won't tell you which one it is yet that I have my eye on but of course to get the money we have to sell some goods must start thinking about doing something with the with the vehicles lying around the place well, they're not really lying around the place but they're all in that centre part we might have to um, well we should get some sort of cover for them also want to put in some charging points down on the bottom area we do have a charging point for the electric vehicles at the top but I want to put some down at the bottom let's pick up some strawberries now um, just a quick glance over at the lettuce we might leave the lettuce for next month but we, uh, we'll see we'll see I think there's going to be quite a few boxes of strawberries strawberries do produce pretty quickly yeah I can see I just caught it out there the bottom of the screen there that there are some more pallets spawning yeah so we're at the end of February and the first snow of the year just to keep us on our toes just as we start thinking about things that need to be planted yeah I've just been thinking also about more or different crops and products that we can produce um, haven't quite made up my mind a little bit of a indecision phase at this point in time as to which way we're going to go but it's at that kind of stage you know do we how do we progress but I'm going to as I say buy a our first factory and then we'll play it from there the snow is really not letting up is it doesn't look like it'll settle I think the ground's probably a bit too warm for it to settle strawberries delivered fantastic right so let's get some sunflower seeds collected we should have a full load get that up to the oil mill and I think the first thing that we're going to produce is we're going to or the first factory we're going to buy is going to be the the oil mill so that we can produce oil to deliver to the to 
the potato chip factory or the French fry factory and we'll start that sort of production line going so that we'll get the sunflower produced, oil produced and fed into the into the potato chip factory. The only thing that I'm not quite sure of and I'm sure we'll we'll find out as we go along is whether the production numbers synchronize. I've never done that prediction particular production line um, oil potato chips or potato uh, french fries um, so it'll be interesting to see whether we can produce enough oil my thinking is that the production of oil is fairly slow in the event the only way we're going to really find out is to give it a try we can always adapt as we go along it's nothing to say we can't sell any of the productions or close them down or whatever we wouldn't want to particularly do that but uh, yeah so we'll park up here and then we'll go in and purchase the factory just put on the interactive zones so that I'm not quite sure where the where the purchase point is I presume it's at the back somewhere yeah oh there it is there there yeah, yeah we'll just go and I think it's a fairly inexpensive factory as far as production yeah it's 40,000 so it's probably a good place to start I haven't actually looked to see what the French fire factory is going to cost or but I'm sure it's more than forty thousand. So I'll set it to store to start with and then once I can get an idea of how quickly it produces I will set it to distribute so that we can distribute will buy the potato factory and then set it to distribute directly to the potato factory so we'll set we'll activate sunflower oil we we'll deliver that now and there should be plenty of olives in there because we delivered quite a bit of olives last the last episode I think yeah Right, so let's just go and deliver this. Now that I've got the interactive markers on, I see that it is... Yeah, so we can deliver sunflower here. And I know we can deliver sunflower on the other side as well. It's strange why you can't deliver... As we found out in the last episode, we can't deliver olives. On the other side of the factory we can only de deliver olives here but we can do sunflower and olives here well i'm not going to bother too much about it as long as i can get it in right let's just have a look and see the one thing i did notice and uh is that the olives that we delivered were still showing in the inventory when we bought the factory and that means that I should really have delivered the sunflower seed first and then bought the factory hey ho live and learn I did recall that somebody had mentioned that somewhere in the past but I just didn't think of it so we'll just straw up the pigs so we can get them to start producing manure we've only got six at the moment we'll have to in the next month or so buy some more 
pig so that we can get some more manure producing. I mean that's the byproduct we really want is the manure. So we will need to get a fair stock of those. And we should put that little uh, John Deere away. It's getting in the way there. It's also just lying out in the snow. We'll go and park it up under the under the shelter there. Right, let's load up some grapes. There you go, you can see it, how nicely it loads in the back of this trailer. And we'll get those up to the to the farmer's market. Should bring in a decent amount of money. Also got my eye on the field just in front of us there. I'll pick that up sometime. I have a plan for the field just behind us which you'll see a little bit later. At least the snow stopped. Yeah, so we're pretty much in routine mode at the moment this morning. Just getting bits and pieces done, getting money in. We should have a bit of action going on this afternoon. Oh, I love watching this. Load and unload. <laughs> uh, small things amuse small minds, I suppose. I love it. It's one of the joys of this game. Right. So we bought a piece of land behind behind us. And graveled it over. I did tell you that I had my my eye in it. So I'm going to level it all out. And we're going to extend our yard into here. Well, I guess you kind of judged it from the fact that we've <laughs> decided to gravel over it. So a couple of things that we need to put in to start off with. We need to we need to get the get a silo up and going because we're starting to get surplus of corn from the from the greenhouses we um where we're producing product for the for the fish tanks. So they've pretty much fully stocked up with corn and we have I think six or so pellets waiting. So I think I'll put up a silo, put up a relatively inexpensive silo. I think there might be some fairly cheap ones that in the store we'll have a look around and and we'll also try and get some sort of shelter for the for all the trailers, etc. And then we'll be able to explain. I have been giving some thought to different products. I'll keep it under my hat for now. But there will be some fairly big developments in this area in the not too distant future next month or so really just decided to spend a bit of time flattening this all out smooth it all out yeah, I don't think it'll be a hundred percent flat but you know I want it to be reasonably easy to put up any any buildings or any more production units or anything like that. So with regard to the production units and factories, I've decided that before we build any extra production factories, we need to supply and, and ideally purchase existing factories that are on the map so that we don't 
So we minimize pollution really. Kind of use the factories that we've got rather than just putting up factories willy-nilly. Well, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Quite a bit has happened. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode. Cheerio.